All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about using the whiteboard to work with PDFs, but in addition to that, also introducing our Google Drive as the actual storage location uh, for the whiteboard. If you have the Google Drive app installed on your panel, and if your Google Drive is in fact set up, then you can actually leverage that when you are using the whiteboard. So let's take a look at, uh, at what that looks like. So I'm going to go down here to my uh, to this corner of the screen where I have a button. Again, it's the options menu. We've been here several times before, right? And there's a very easy way to import PDFs because that's one of the choices there on the menu. So when I choose that, uh, it allows me to grab a PDF from someplace. The key here is if I want my Google Drive uh, to be the choice where I grab that PDF, and if my Google Drive is in fact installed on the panel like, uh, like I described, then I can go here to the menu button in the corner and it will actually show up there. If everything is configured properly, it, it will be here, and I'll choose my Google Drive, and it will show me uh, my documentation. So I'll just go to my drive, and I've got a PDF right here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that, and it will import that onto the screen. Uh, again, depending on how long your document is, you may wanna be cognizant of that because it'll try and load every single page, and, and it will load that as an individual slide for each page, so just kinda of be aware of that. Uh, but once I've done that, I can go ahead and use the panels, annotation tools, the whiteboard tools to mark stuff up, just like that. Okay, now if I wanna export this back to my Google Drive, I can go back to that same options menu, there's an option for that, but I also have a button right here. It's the one that looks like a QR code with an arrow shooting up out of it. That is export, and I can choose from this drop-down menu, PDF, and then once I hit export, I can then choose where I want it to go by hitting the share button. And then obviously, if my Google Drive is installed, if the app is working and everything's configured, there's Drive right there, so I'll go ahead and choose that. I've got a couple of accounts here, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose mine from the drop-down menu. And then if I want, the, this is the folder I want, that's fine, I can just go ahead and, and do it this way, but if I wanna choose a different folder, I'll hit the drop-down, it will actually bring up all of my folders. I'll go ahead and choose New Line. That looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Select, and then Save. And then, it will tell you your file's being uploaded, and then once it's finished, it will be available on your Google Drive for access in other locations.